Okay, guys. So, very, very quick uh, update. I decided I was going to paint the engine. Um, and I look, I, I wouldn't be big into that kind of thing. Um, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it relatively right, if you know what I mean. But I, again, would not be big into it. I would just leave the engine as is. Um, it's running well and everything. So what I did was, uh, you can see here, like I've got the... I just did a quick clean up on the uh, intake manifold, gave it a quick bit of silver, gave the filter housing a bit of silver, gave the aircon uh, pump a bit of a clean, or a bit of uh, silver as well. I gave this a bit of a clean. I quite like the standard look to it. Um, it's not perfect though, you'll see. And it, that... The, those little marks, right? You can get them out, um, but you're scrubbing and scrubbing. Basically, you're generating friction uh, with with the cloth, and it just somehow pulls it all out. Then you can see there's that line coming down from there. Um, but anyway, so look, I don't know if I'm going to spray it or not, or leave it as is. At the moment, I think I'll leave it as is because I quite like the standard look. Now this is. Uh, quite a boring color i went for i went for matte black so let me just pull this off i don't want to leave it off too long so as you can see uh, it's total matte black the pump obviously isn't Um, i did when i, I left I, I should have done this before i put the pump on so i when i brought my tape i did catch part of the pump here um and everything like that but it's it, it's it's looking good i had these taped off and i had the manifold or i had the rocket cover on when i did it Um, i was going to do the manifold but i was told that it will just end up discoloring or flaking anyway uh, this is all very high temperature paint so it is rated to 800 degrees centigrade uh, I taped off just in here so that you will be able to see our, our markings, but everything else got uh, got painted the matte black. Um, even did the sump. Now I'm a bit a bit hesitant about the sump because you'll see even here the scrape marks on the sump. So the sump will at times make contact. At least it did in the original. Um, in the original uh, setup in the in the uh, W210, so it's quite possible then that uh, I will end up with exposed aluminium down there as it scrapes. Um, but I think we just have to live with that. So I think it's going to look okay. It's a bit boring. Like, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's not an exciting, uh, you know, kind of caterpillar yellow that that uh, D DP UK was doing for a while. Even their 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 agricultural grey that they do now, which I probably they probably call it military grey, but like it's agricultural, it's like the old um, the old tractors, that kind of grey. Um, that's that's it's even a bit more exciting than this. But anyway, I just thought matte black, keep it nice and neat with the silver highlights and with this, and that is kind of ties in perfectly with it. The matte day. Um, the cover for the injectors so suddenly all you have showing is this and then you have your silver manifold and a couple of silver uh, ancillaries um i was half tempted to pull apart the alternator and then i decided i've already spent far too long on this job than i wanted to it took it takes a hell of a lot of time guys that's the one thing i would say budget an awful lot of time and um, and you do your head in trying to go at it all all at once it does take quite a lot of time. Uh, just even cleaning the engine, letting it dry. At this time of the year, um, I was coming up and I was blowing it with air to get all the little nooks and crannies out and then leaving it sit. And then, you know, you have to give it a good while. Like if, if I have a little puddle, let's say from a car that comes in to here, it will be there again tomorrow, that same puddle. Like it doesn't dry that quick at this time of the year and with no wind in the shed because it's insulated like that. Um, and I have no heating on because I don't really need it with the with it being insulated. Um, so yeah, nice little red accent as well. I think 
I think it will look okay once we have all the bits on it, and it will um, it will sort of start to become kind of uh, little bits of accents here and there. The one good thing I think will also be because it's matte black. Um, as soon as I develop an oil leak, I should have a shiny stream. Now, it's not going to be like, like the battleship grey or the agricultural grey that uh, DPQ UK is using. You'll see an oil leak straight away on those, or the caterpillar yellow. Um, but I do think I'll still be able to, to die, find the oil leak because it'll be a shiny finish, essentially. The only problem is, years down the line, when I've had numerous different oil leaks, I'll have loads of shiny areas. <laughs> so that might um, get rid of that. As a as a as a, di a good way of diagnosing it, so yeah, I I'm kind of going to leave that. Like if I pop that on there now, I'll just show you what it starts to look like. There's no no. Yeah, so there you go. You're kind of getting. A rough idea so it's beginning to look a little bit kind of on the stock side of things I think it'll look kind of cool but very very subtle and um, so that's the story I was half tempted to spray the rocker cover and the body color of the uh, of the car I have a tin of it there that I don't think is a good colour match. I'm not going to use it. Um, I was sort of half tempted to spray spray it the, uh, the same as that. Um, but I'll find some use for it. I also was half tempted to paint the all the suspension components I take out, like the subframe and all the different linkages, the same colour as the body. <laughs> um, but I, I don't know, like I'm... It, I don't like going too gaudy, but I was sort of thinking that, or I was sort of thinking um, a darker green, possibly, or uh, or um, what am I thinking? Or you know, like a kind of a yellow uh, to go along with kind of British raisin green, but it's not British raisin green. Obviously, this is a a uh, willow green. But uh, knowing me, I'll probably go conservative and I'll stick to black. Um, but I'll see what the powder coaters do, and if there's a cost difference or that. Uh, when it comes to it i'm looking at powder coating them and um, again i'll have to check the cost of that so yeah that's it so far guys um i'm going to be pulling out the i got the, the special tool for pulling out the the springs in these i had it for these two um so i'll be pulling out the springs out of out of this and de de, de uh, constructing the suspension components next after i get all of these put back together and back on um half tempted to uh to do as i say the the cooling mod but I, I kind of want to know where i'll be able to find the piping and that that'll be heat resistant to that level um i'm going to go check with the local guys if what what temperature that their piping can hold up to um, and then i'll be able to you know essentially put a uh, pipe from there straight across to where in the housing does it go i think it's either it must be this one on the housing here could be the one above that and you drill into it and then you tap it and then you run your your cooling pipe there and basically you get even cooling so you get your cooling from here as it's fed from the from the the, the water pump and then it's also pumped back here as well and so your cylinders are getting evenly evenly um or more evenly um cool i think um diesel mechan said it was something like a 20 percent or 15 percent uh, addition to the cooling of the uh, cylinders and the rear cylinders so i mean it's a worthwhile thing to do um anyway that's it so far guys thanks for watching um and uh, i will keep these all updated on what the next bit of it's done Bit of a boring video, bit of a boring colour. So anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.